Hey everyone, it is Fertilizer Friday and that's the topic for today. And I'm just gonna switch this around and you can see that was Amy with her Fertilizer Friday shirt. Say hi, Amy. Hi. And you guys say hi to us. So let us know that you're watching and uh, comment. Fertilizer Friday, let us know that you're, you're watching. Do you watch us live or do you watch us replay? But today's topic is fertilizer, of course. And um, we're gonna be talking about fertilizing your plants and flowers and of course we make our own fertilizer our beat your neighbor fertilizer if if you're new here you know check this out at our beatyourneighbor.com website and i'm you know i'm just going to be real honest here and real upfront can i do that we're not a billion dollar corporation i know amazing right that the, that is a uh, big shocker right we are a small family run business and we make our own fertilizer that we use on our uh, our plants and flowers and we would absolutely love your support if you would consider us you know we would we would covet that you know, give us a try and and make us your fertilizer we're not a billion dollar corporation so we're a small family business that's you know when you support us we are supporting our local community also and it's for you know our family and running our business we're not buying um a fifth corporate jet like um you know one of those other great big giant billion dollar corporations yeah they bought their fifth private corporate jet uh i think just last year so you know when you're buying those fertilizers at wally world and home cheapo and all the big box stores and you're that's what you're supporting you're buying another corporate jet so i'm just going to be honest with you you know that's that's where that's going for so again we would really appreciate you checking out our beat your neighbor fertilizer going to the beatyourneighbor.com website and checking that out so we get a lot of questions, of course, about fertilizing and how to do it. And, you know, it's nothing magical or mystical. Uh, a lot of people get really caught up with how to fertilize. And, um, you know, if you're fertilizing by hand, and, and I'm not, you know, in our greenhouses, we have a um, an injector system and uh, it, it feeds right into the watering hoses. And, and that's a great way. If you've got a lot of flowers, consider a fertilizer injector. And we do have that on our beatyourneighbor.com website. So we don't just have the Beat Neighbor fertilizer. We have a, almost a hundred different products. And one of those products is the fertilizer injector. And it, it, it makes your life easy, a uh, uh, much, much easier. But if you're, if you're old school and you're still, you know, this is a two gallon watering can. You're putting in two scoops of the Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer and you're looking for, it just has a light tint of blue. Ours, our fertilizer is very concentrated and so it's not gonna come out looking like a, like Listerine or, you know, where it has a real dark blue. It's very light blue. And I don't know if you can see this cause I'm right in the sun, but you can probably just see a little tint of blue and that's what you're looking for. And that really helps if you're using like a fertilizer injector like I'm using, I take my my hose and I pour it into a clear glass just so I can check, just to double check that that ratio is about right. And the same thing applies to, this is a hose end sprayer. So this would be the next step up from a watering can. And then the next step up from this would be a fertilizer injector. And you might be, you know, somewhere in between. And this is kind of that in between of like, hey, I've got a lot of plants and flowers to fertilize. This is the next step. And again, we have this on our beatyourneighbor.com website. These are very economical uh, to buy. This one's made by Ortho. And I like on this hose end sprayer, it has a an adjustable. And you would go through and mix it up and adjust and see how that fertilizer is coming out. And again, you're looking for that light tinge of blue. And we have videos on our our YouTube channel of how to do that. So you know that information is already there. So if you check out the YouTube, our YouTube channel, and just look up Sharky's Greenhouses on YouTube or look up Beat Your Neighbor Fertilizer, you'll, you'll be able to find us. We have videos on that, both this and also the fertilizer injector. So those are easier ways to fertilize, but you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna go old school, no problem, lots of people do. And so when you're watering something like this hanging basket, and this is just, you know, we just planted this up and I'm gonna go ahead and it's getting its first dose of Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer today. And we're just watering so that it's getting 
a good drink and that this soil is saturated all the way through. It's not pouring out the bottom. It's just saturated all the way through. So that's, that's the same principle that I'm going to apply. That's the same principle that you should use. I'm going to do it on thousands of hanging baskets and tens of thousands of potted plants and flowers as we're just watering it, not so it's running out, but that it, it's completely saturated through that soil. So going through and watering, you know, don't, don't get hung up on, on the how to, you just want to give it a good drink. It's just that when you're fertilizing, it's getting a good drink with nutrients with that fertilizer. So very easy to do. Another question that we get a lot is with new seedlings. So I had showed you this before. This is our tomato, a uh, little baby tomato. And it's, it's several weeks old now. It's been coming up and I kept showing you, I was shoving this down deep into the soil. A lot of people ask you, hey, Scott, when should I start fertilizing my seedlings? And you can, you can start feeding them two weeks after they sprout up. Yeah, you can give them a weakened version of the Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer. So mix it about half strength. So, you know, make sure it's a diluted ver uh, version. But you can start feeding those seedlings with a half strength of the, the Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer. And go ahead and give it a good drink. And believe me, they, they will really kick in to high gear once they're being fed properly. So, so that's on my agenda today is everything in here is getting a good dose of the Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer. Uh, we're going to be, um, you know, our, we've been doing hanging baskets all this week and, and this greenhouse is really starting to, to, whoa, I almost dropped, I almost dropped the phone. I'm trying to move around here. So they are getting to be pretty full. We still have a little bit of room in these back two greenhouses, but it's it's starting to fill up and we're starting to go, oh my goodness, where, where are we gonna go with all these hanging baskets? Um, but anyway, so everything's getting a good dose of fertilizer. Let us know, comment down below, are you fertilizing houseplants? You know, the houseplants can be fed once a month. You know, maybe you're you're like us in, in uh, you know, the upper Midwest where you're not, you're not really concerned about your outdoor stuff yet because uh, we got snow outside, but you might have some house plans and go ahead and give them a, give them a good dose and uh, fertilize them once a month. Outside stuff is going to get once a week. So you might be in Florida, you might be well into your gardens, you know, somewhere, somewhere nice and warm and tropical that we can, uh, us northern, northerners can really, uh, um, be envious you know of that so let us know if you're fertilizing indoor plants or outdoor plants go ahead comment below tell your neighbors about us and again be sure to visit our beatyourneighbor.com website so we will continue on giving you a little peek into our lives from the greenhouse and we'll keep going with these uh, live videos showing what's going on uh, again today we're going to finish up some hanging baskets watering uh we've got a funny video coming out so watch for that uh amy amy did a little a little funny thing so watch you know maybe by noon we'll we'll post that on our instagram and uh and also on our facebook and you can check that out so we will continue on uh i think next week's topics are going to be back to the basics and we we talk a lot about soil watering and care and fertilizing and those are really those are those key basic principles that you have to get down and have that correct. Otherwise, you're just not going to have a good year um, for, for growing your plants and flowers. So when you get those three things right, you're going to have nice plants and flowers. Uh, so that's why we keep going back to those basics and talking about them and going over that. And because we see so many of our customers and so many people comment, you know, hey, you know, I started using good soil you know not that stuff that you find at wally world or home cheapo or whatever and so many people will comment and 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 let us know it's like yeah i know we do this for a living that's why we say you got to start with good soil that's your foundation so next week i think we're going to go back to the basics and talk about those basic principles so be sure to follow us next week and tell your friends and family share our videos we we love that we love the support from you, you know, we, we, we're not doing these videos to get rich. We're doing these videos to 
uh, give some knowledge and and help you have beautiful flowers this year. So, yeah, uh, you're, there's no ticket to ride. There, we don't charge anything for our free advice. If you if you don't like me, if I'm ugly to you or whatever, just just move on. You don't need a comment. Just just, just keep moving. Go go watch some funny cat videos on Instagram or something. But if you if you like learning a little bit, let us know uh, that that you're enjoying the videos. So we'll catch you again next week. Have a good day.